With Cataclysm around the corner and it looking like it could be one of the most gold intensive launches in WoW Classic history, thinking about how to make gold right now in Wrath of the Lich King is a question on a lot of people's mind. Right now, the best way to get gold is unfortunately through raiding gold DKPs in ICC and Ruby Sanctum 25. But for a lot of people, it's out of reach, either because of a lack of geared alts or moral objections to the system it's created. But running GDKPs is not the only way to get gold. I compiled a list of four gold farms you can do at any time and net quite a decent profit. Tune into Grizzly Hills radio and kick back while making laps around Dragonblight. We're specifically fishing for Dragonfin Angelfish and Pygmy Suckerfish. The fish can be used to craft both strength and agility food, while Pygmy Oils are used for haste potions. Doing laps between these two lakes in Dragonblight yielded the best results, with me gathering 76 Pygmy Suckerfish, 110 Dragonfin, and 12 gold in random trash. Selling the mats raw yielded an hourly gold rate of 910 gold per hour, but that can be certainly increased by turning the mats into the proper consumable. This was my favorite farm to do phase 1 before gold values got out of hand. You gather up the easy trash before Morose and the theater and AOE everything down. This farm can be done on several classes, but I've seen the best results on Prop Paladin and Rogue. If you didn't play whatever tune you wanted to farm on in TBC and don't have the entombment, fret not. You can still use a trusted old backdoor skip to get into the instance. In order to enter, you'll either need to be in a raid group or spam a macro, which I will link in the description, before you enter. The nice thing about this farm is that it's very predictable and everything is vendored. There is a world where you disenchant everything and craft bandages from the netherweave while you AFK, but that's not a world that I'm part of. Running Karazhan for one hour netted me 819 gold. Not the strongest, but a chill and predictable farm. Having one or two people sitting at the entrance of Halls of Stone while you do your thing can be a quite good way to make gold. The farm itself was a quite decent moneymaker. Running the trash by myself yielded 685 gold per hour without any boost D. Adding one or two boost Ds to your run can easily net you an additional 1000 gold per hour. If you have a second account, having an alt parked at the Old Door Summoning Stone is a quite nice added bonus to save some time and to provide a better service. Keep in mind that while the boost can be done with less gear, having some decent raid gear certainly makes the farm faster and smoother. Doing your daily heroic on one or multiple characters a day actually nets you more gold than you think. The gold from the quest itself is 98 gold per run, and with each run taking about 7 minutes, averaging out over an hour, gives you 686 raw quest gold. But it doesn't stop there. Every 5 days you'll be able to buy an additional Primordial Serenite from Emblems of Frost. These currently sell for about 300 gold on my server, meaning that each run you do also nets you 60 gold worth of progress towards Serenite. Then every 6 days you'll receive an additional Primordial Serenite through Defiler's Scourgestone, adding 50 gold worth of progress towards the Serenite every day. Thus, each run effectively gives you 208 gold, and with a run taking about 7 minutes, that's 1456 golds per hour, not to mention that you'll be getting a bunch of random drops, frozen orbs, and potentially a battered hilt. Running 3 of these a day on my 3 tanks is something that I've added to my daily to-do list, and it's something that you should consider as well. These are some decent ways for you to get out in the world and farm your own gold without any type of prior investments. Keep in mind though that there are certainly a lot of other ways to make gold right now, especially with the auction house. There are huge mismatches in a lot of the raw materials compared with the consumables, because people are incredibly lazy. That's all for now, thank you very much for watching, until next time.